Hello again YouTubers, this is Wes again with another project on my old Ford truck and today we'll, we will be replacing the water pump among other things. Um, in the previous video I showed how that under taking the belt off that you could physically rock the fan blades and stuff back and forth because the water pump was just shot on the inside. But uh, back to the water pump. Now this one here is brand new. This is what I got from Advance for uh, $40. Comes with a limited lifetime warranty. It's sadly it's made in China, but it's got a limited lifetime warranty. So as long as I have my receipt, I'm good to go on it. Uh, came with a new gasket. Now a trick that I've used very many times on valve covers and stuff like that is to take a small bead of Vaseline or petroleum jelly and go around on the uh, gasket and then put that over onto the water pump or what, what have you. 15 millimeter six point socket and all you have to do is roll it around, roll your uh, fan around until you see where the blades kind of spread out which is right there and then you just simply take your uh, socket put on there and lift up you notice I've got the thermostat out I've been kind of cleaning around inside and at the same time I took a razor blade scraped all the old gasket material off use a wire brush to clean that off good same thing here just waiting on a new thermostat gasket uh, those are like 50 cents at the store uh, they're the stick on style has one side is uh, side that goes on this is actually adhesive and you put your thermostat in, stick that on and then you just put it over. Now the bolts for that are 10 millimeter. What you have to do is break this nut loose, take the fan clutch off. Um, you don't have to necessarily take the fan itself off, you can do that if you please. And then you take these four bolts right here off after you get the fan and fan clutch off and then from there you can e more easily access these four 10 millimeter bolts and you can just wanted to show one of the pieces you'll need to take the water pump off is which is this big crow's foot piece you put it onto a breaker bar here just like you would a socket except for it just makes it into a wrench this is made by Ampro it's a two and a quarter inch 57 millimeter pulley folding wrench is what it's called and what you do is you have to again you'll have it on a breaker bar or a ratchet you need to move it around your fan needs to be moved around here until you get into the section that has the uh, wide spot like that right there and then this just simply slides in like so and holds the water pump still while you are uh, using a wrench or the this actually has a piece that comes with it that fits in for this nut here but I don't have it on me at the moment so that still is a big help right there just to hold that all still. Moving the bolts which is this one right here uh, there's one right here another one here I don't know if you can see that or not but it's it's right there at the end of my tip there it is um, and then on top of that there's a couple on the bottom you'll need a single blade style screwdriver to undo the heater holes uh, band clamp there and then you'll need to do the same thing down here for your lower radiator hose but just undo it up here on the actual water pump that way it's easier to install later on alright guys I've got my water pump changed off as you can see little thread keeper there to keep stuff from nicking the threads and buggering those up torque down to 18 pound feet of torque because my torque wrench uh, only four bolts that goes in here and I started with this one went to this one to this one and then back and then I finished it off. I didn't just crank it on down because this is cast and it can crack. What I did was I inched it down a few threads at a time, did a few 
uh, times going around it so that they were all even. So now that's on there. It's ready for the heater hose to go back on. As you can see over here, it does have a split in it, <coughs> as you can see there. But I'm just going to cut it up here and then just slide it on, put my band clamp back on, and then I'm good to go with that. <coughs> so now, as you can see, my thermostat here, I'm going to wipe it off and clean it up a little bit more. It's still in good condition, so I'm just going to reuse it. Here's a very good tip. Uh, when you're doing like I'm having to do and have to do a job where you're leaving orifices in places that stuff can get into the engine open overnight or even up to a few days, at the least it's a good measure just to stick rags back in. Not very far, just kind of to seal things out. As you can notice, I've got the thermostat and the little pass-through fix. And just put your screws and bolts back to where you got them from. That way that uh, whenever you go to look for them again, they're going to be right there. You're not going to be looking all over the place for them all over the engine bay. Uh, it just keeps them from getting screwed up or mixed up. And that way you don't have to worry about lost screws, things of that nature. Uh, just a nice little tidbit on when you're working on engines and stuff is, again, uh, duct tape, clear packing tape for that matter, just clean all your surfaces really good and just cover those holes. And you can see how far I actually had that back in there, just, just enough to physically keep something such as dirt, water, mud, stuff like that from just falling in there. And that's all we're looking for at that point.